Welcome back. It's Dr. Emily Mayfield with your Mental Health Minute. I'm a psychologist and I provide educational videos on common mental health topics. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications to be informed of new videos. Today we're going to discuss developing mindfulness. A lot has changed in the last several months. The schedule you knew and had come accustomed to was drastically impacted by the stay-at-home orders and closures of schools and offices. Now that time is more abundant in many people's lives, they are finding themselves feeling uneasy. As a society, we often keep ourselves busy with tasks. To sit and do nothing doesn't feel normal. We move from task to task to ease some of the uneasiness we experience with being inactive. While picking up hobbies and finding projects around the house can be helpful, this is also a good time to work on being okay with doing nothing. As you find ways to accept the absence of always being active, you will free up mental and emotional space to be productive in more areas of your life. One habit you can pick up is mindfulness. Mindfulness is the ability to be fully aware in the present. When you're mindful, you're free of distraction or judgment. You don't think about what needs to get done or how you should be doing something else. You accept where you are right now. Oftentimes, people will have a thought come into their head and interpret that as a cue they should do something with that thought. They latch onto the thought and start to think about what it means, why it came up, and what they need to do with this thought. This leads to overthinking and unproductive worry. Mindfulness is an excellent tool to help you be present in the moment and free from expectations and assumptions you place on yourself. However, like all skills, it takes practice to be effective and efficient. As you think of ways to fill your time right now, consider developing the new habit of mindfulness. Visit the video linked below to learn more about mindfulness techniques and how to implement them. Comment below if you have any questions and I look forward to seeing you for the next video. Have a good day.